Yeah. Hey everybody, it's Wonder, I mean Dr. Joe. Today I'm going to show you some exercises for osteoporosis. So let's get started. Disclaimer alert, disclaimer alert. So my grandmother had osteoporosis and it was really sad watching her just kind of have those fragile bones and not be able to do very much. When she had it, I don't think there was a lot of research out there showing that weight training is really good for osteoporosis. I think people are scared because you hear this brittle bone thing and you don't want to use weights because you think it's going to make it worse. But getting that stress on those bones, the right amount of stress, not too much stress, actually helps make the bones stronger. So using weights, using resistive bands is the best way to go. The first exercise is going to be a squat with a chair. You're going to spread your feet out a little bit wider than you would with a normal squat. And this will take a little bit of pressure off the joints, but you're still getting that good weight resistant exercise. So usually you'd be about shoulder width apart. Take your feet slightly further out than that. You're going to use your chair as a target, but don't sit all the way down. You're just going to kind of tap your bottom and then come back up. Try and keep your knees behind your toes so you're really sticking your bottom back looking for that target. So just come down, tap it just a little bit, and come back up. If you need to sit all the way down, that, that's fine, you can do that. But try to just tap it a little bit so you're really getting that strengthening portion of the squats. So coming down, try and keep those feet nice and flat, and then come back up. Just start off with about 10 of these and then maybe work your way up to about 20. So the next ones, are gonna be standing doing a hamstring curl. Now with the hamstring curl, if you have ankle weights, that's probably the best, but you're gonna start off with no weights at all. See how you feel. If you feel good, then you can get some ankle weights, like one or two pounds, and then use those. You wanna be nice and upright. Keep the top part of your leg straight down if you can. And then you're just gonna bend at your knee, bringing your heel back to your bottom. So it's going back this way and slowly come back down. Try not to bring it forward. If your hip flexors are tight, that's what happens. It'll come forward. But to get the right exercise, you really want that leg to go back and you'll feel a little pull in the front and then slowly come back down. So make sure you do both sides with these. So still kicking back and then coming back down and then adding weights if, if this is too easy for you. Then the next one is gonna be a heel raise. So with your feet about shoulder width apart, Make sure and hold on for balance if you need to. Just come up on your toes and slowly come back down. So don't just plop it back down. You don't want to hurt the heels of your feet, but nice and slow and controlled coming back down. So up and back down. So then the next one is going to be for your arms and you're going to get a resistive band or weights. So with the band, Make sure you step on it nice and firm. You don't want it to come flying back up to your face and pop you, but you want it tight enough where you have already some resistance with your arm all the way down. Keep your elbow by your side and just pull up into a curl and slowly come back down. Don't try and do this. A lot of times people want to bring that elbow up, but again, then that's changing the exercise a little bit. So keep it nice and close, curl up, and then slowly and control that band back down. So again, starting off with just 10, 15 of these, you can work your way up 20, 25, and then if this gets really easy, you can get a stronger resistive band. And then the last set of exercises, again, you can work your way up to having ankle weights or using a resistive band, but I'm just going to show you without anything first and then you can progress as you get stronger. So it's just going to be a four way hip movement. So starting off, keep that leg nice and straight, keep your toes pointed forward and you're going to kick out just a little bit and then come across your body. So it's kind of a one, two movement, the out and then coming all the way across. Make sure and hold on to something if you need to because you don't want to be off balance and then end up falling over, even if it's just a finger on that chair or countertop and then back and forth. Try not to turn your foot out because again, that changes the muscles you're using. Keep that toe forward, almost like you're leading with your heel to go out and then swing it across. And then the last one is going forward and then coming back as well. So again, it's a movement. It's not just stopping here. It's going all the way back 
and then all the way forward. So again, just starting off with 10 to 15. If you get to 20, 25, then you can add a little ankle weight or then start using your resistive band. So those were your exercises for osteoporosis. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you'd like to check out some other videos, go to AskDrJoe.com. Don't forget to like us and remember, be safe, have fun, and I hope you feel better soon.